story just to tell you the essence of who we are and what baba wants from us a very short story of somebody called kanakadasa you may have heard it before so kanakadasa is uh, is a devotee who loved krishna he used to sing bhajans in in praise of krishna and and go on and on oh my god i think baba is going to drop his flower you talk about krishna and something happens here the flowers are all moving sorry i got little nervous to hear the sound he's playing with me so um, he was in love with krishna like i am in love with krishna too so that is why krishna's name does this to us so kanakdasa was uh, he came to udupi the temple in udupi and he wanted to see krishna but he was of a low caste so he was not allowed to get inside the temple so what they did is he he had a little hut friend a little hut on the road in front of the mandir he used to sit there all day and sing for krishna but he was not able to see him and he used to night and day have this really really uh that urge that madness to be able to see his krishna but being of a low caste it was not even a possibility but you know when we love him he listens he absolutely listens there is no possibility there see he listens i told you the flower has dropped i'm seeing it on the camera sorry i can see myself pinned up there he listens he absolutely listens thank you baba for reaffirming thank you so much this feels good so krishna also could hear the prayers could hear the madness of kanakdasa so what krishna did was he created an earthquake there in udupi there came an earthquake and in the wall of the mandir it developed a nice big crack now krishna faces east in the mandir like all our hindu temples the deity is always faced east krishna's idol his murti turned from east to west he turned in the mandir the whole idol the murti turned in the mandir and turned towards that crack which was on the west side and from there because kanakdasa couldn't come inside he would just come and keep looking at krishna from that crack inside that in the wall and and loving him this is love this is love when you love your god so much that he does anything and everything for you i don't want to cry as i talk i get i get very emotional when i talk about loving baba but the most beautiful thing you can do in the kali yuga is love your god he is not expecting rituals he is not expecting any puja he is not expecting any any long fasts anything to be followed one little cup of tea you make with love and offer him his heart melts you know if i want big things from baba also i just make him a nice chai and say baba have the chai and bless and give me what i want and he listens he is a very simple god nothing complicated here no rituals needed just love him and just as krishna turned for kanakdasa baba will turn for you and come anywhere anywhere for you don't be low don't be sad because know that he is inside you as your strength know that he is the the presence of the almighty god the presence of the cosmic energy inside you and if you know that nothing should stop you at all nothing at all should stop you from just living a happy a powerful meaningful life i wish you well i hope you remember the story of kanakdasa always and and make sure that whichever god you love be it baba be it krishna be it shiva be it devi ma or anyone be in love with them just remember that what you see here is not an idol it may look like i'm talking and baba is sitting next to me as an idol this is not an idol he's alive he's listening to everything that is why he makes those flowers drop and we call them miracles he's absolutely listening to every word we are speaking here when we have a god who listens we must speak we must talk we must live our lives feeling he is always with us holding our hand as our best friend companion through this life's journey just remember and hold on to him that is all will make life beautiful that is all that will start healing your life any which way sai krishna krishna